Hey folks, now I've talked literature, music, I've talked psychology, emotional health, economics, wealth disparity, equality, justice and racism, and I've talked a lot about politics. I don't think I've ever talked about art. So now somebody out there, you know what you should all do? You should all watch all of my videos. I think there's like two or 300 of them by now. Go watch them all again and let me know. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm happily wrong. But today we're going to talk about art because this is really exciting for me. They found another Van Gogh. They found another Van Gogh. Now, it wasn't necessarily lost and it's not that they didn't know it, was it had been painted. It would belong to a family since like the late 1800s. And it was rarely ever seen. It was never put on public display, to the best of my knowledge. It was a family treasure. And it stayed within the family, within the family's properties, never to be seen by the public, or rarely to be seen by the public. And now it's being offered at auction. And it's gorgeous. Now, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge uh, art lover, but there are some paintings that I love. I loved Van Gogh's, uh, what's it, is it called his Blue Works, uh, A Starry Night. Um, uh, there's another one, another, another blue painting with yellow stars, and I can't remember it right now, I apologize. But this one, the first time I seen it, I just fell in love with it. It's gorgeous. It's a painting of Paris. A crazy painting of Paris with a huge dilapidated old building and a nasty old fence and people walking down the street. It's gorgeous. Now it's going up for auction. I've got 30 or if I talk to my wife about it, I got 30 or 40 dollars sitting in my bank account so you know I'm going to be in I'm going to be in the bidding for this thing. Anyway, looking at it, I feel peaceful. It makes it, it, it brings out of me a sense of joy and awe and calm. I don't know if I've ever felt this way looking at a painting before. And it's completely new to me. I never knew it existed. So few people knew it existed. Rarely ever seen in public. It's like a secret. A secret that maybe only the masters knew about. Then I got thinking of the Bible. I got thinking of the Bible and I thought about this time where, where one of the former kings, they were renovating the temple and they came across this old manuscript of the, of the laws, these old scrolls. They had lost them. They had never heard of them before. And when they read them, they were awed by them. They tore their clothes and they poured ash on their head and they wept. They, I think they, it says they pulled at their beards because of what these words said because they wished they had had this all their, all their lives. And that made me think about just God in general. This morning I did a video about the, about the collect of the week where it says, you know, let us be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. This, this painting, the fact that they found this painting, the fact that it was introduced to me the way it was introduced to me, the fact that it has made me feel the way it's made me feel, it reminds me that we don't know God. Not completely. And there was a rabbi, and I believe it was somebody in this channel that pointed me in his direction. He said that Scripture, all Scripture, all Scripture is holy. And that you can read it on the surface and you'll get something out of it. But you've got to get into it. You've got to go deeper and deeper and deeper. And you've got to ask question after question after question. And as you do, you'll get the answers that, you, that you're looking for. You'll get the answers that you're looking for, even though you may not want those particular answers. But you will come closer and closer and closer to God. But you'll never truly get there. You'll never truly get to the full knowledge that is God. There's always more to discover. There's always something else to learn. There's always something else to consider. There's always something else to wonder about. There's always another thought to explore. 
Like God is a mystery we will never fully, completely understand, and that's okay. That's part of this faith journey. That we'd be willing to go there, that we'd be willing to embrace new possibilities, new understandings, new theological perspectives, new biblical interpretations. These are all part of the faith journey, that we should never get to the place where we are static. Nope. This is Van Gogh's collection, and that's it. There, are, there is nothing else. But we, we found this one in an attic, sir. Okay, but that's it. There's no more. Oh, we found this one too. No. Accept these gifts as they come. Accept them as new. Accept them as beautiful. Embrace them. Cherish them. Allow them to transform you. Allow them to, to elicit in you new feelings, new questions new possibilities, new opportunities. One of the characteristics of God is that we'll never fully know God. There's always going to be something else to discover. There is always going to be something else to uncover. There is always going to be a perspective, a characteristic, an ideal and a value of God's learn. There's always going to be more beauty to embrace. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. And I pray that you will always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that with open hearts, open minds, and an open spirit, you and I, we will endeavor to discover more and more and more about the one who made us, about the one who created us, about the one who seeks relationship with us, the divine, the God of all. Amen.